Hi guys. Hey. Who am I? I'm Miss Maley. Hey guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are in your packets. We're on page 36. 36. All right. Uh, here we go. Guys, on some of these, we're actually going to walk through and solve them. On some of these, I'm just going to show you the answer and I want you to go ahead and solve it. Okay. That's how this is going to work. Again, you're, you know, you're watching the lessons already. You did the key concepts. You did the vocab with me just a minute ago. Whew. All right. So on some of these, we're going to write through. I got a question. And then, oh, geez. What do you got, Mr. No? If you look at your packet, how come there is no page 35? Because it's on the back of 34? I, I don't really know. Is there not a, Who knows? Who's to say? There is no page 35. We're on page 36, I said. I know. Okay. We go from page 34... Straight to page 36. Guys, he's making fun of me. And, you know, just know, Mr. No, I am not perfect uh, like many human beings, right? I make mistakes. Huh. It happens. We all do. Anyway, uh, writing distributive equations, guys, is probably one of the tougher things that we'll do. We have to, we have to try to make sense of all this, okay? Here's what we know. Uh, Donovan and his three friends go to the fair. Donovan, three friends. How many people in total is that? Keep your answer to yourself. Uh, they each spend half of their money on rides. They then spend $3 on food. Okay, so they spent money on food and rides. Sounds like a great thing to do when you go to the fair. At the end of the day, Donovan and his friends have a total of $8 left. A grand total, right? All of them combined, they have $8 left. How much money did each person bring to the fair? We don't know. But what did they spend their money on? Well, they told us they bought some food. Three dollars. We know that. That is a constant term. What we don't know, right, is they spent half of their money on rides. We're not sure what half of that is. If you told me they brought twenty dollars, I would tell you half of that would be ten. But we don't know. There's your variable, guys. Okay, so we kind of look over here. The first thing that I see is a four in parentheses. Where did the four come from? Hmm? Ah. Donovan and his three friends. There you go. So that's, okay, so here's our distributive part. So we got four people going to the fair. They all bought food. They all went on rides, right? So all of that, guys, is going to go in here, all right? They spent half of their money on rides. So we are going to say, hey, one half X, right? What else did they spend their money on? Well, $3 on food. Right? Notice we have a subtraction sign here, right? Minus three. Guys, that's because we're losing our money. We're spending it on something. Okay. How much money did we all have left? We all had eight dollars left. Okay. We're good to go from here. First step, distribute the four, right, into both of these terms, right? Watch how quickly I can do this. Four times a half is two x, right? Four times that, twelve. Bam. Nice. Right? I, hey, I think this equation is easier than we had variables on both sides. I only have it on one side. Okay? 2x, stay put. We know this 12 is moving across here. Opposite operation. We're adding 12. It should be 20. Now we're dividing by our coefficient. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. There's how much money each one of them brought. $10. So Donovan and his friends each brought a total of $10. In total, they had $40 altogether, but each of their friends brought $10. Good to go? Pretty straightforward. That's right. It's good. It's good. Feel free to pause these uh, and do them from here. Guys, I would say you are a box guru if you can follow along in these boxes. It even takes me a, a quick second or two to say, hey, what changed? What are they keeping? What are we moving? Okay. You guys want me to go through the boxes? No. No? You just want the answer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, guys, we do all this magic. Again, we distribute the negative sign. Distribute that, too. At the end of the day, we should get two-thirds, right? Yeah. Two-thirds two is your answer here. Okay? Number three. Again, first step, distribute the two. Once you do that. You're going to have some like terms that you can go ahead and combine on that side. You're going to do that. We solve everything right. We should get x is equal to 1 half. 
should get one half on this one. Okay? Two thirds, one half. I know you guys are great on that. I'm not even going to ask how you're doing. Okay? Again, four and five, both straightforward. Who cares that we're distributing a fraction on four and a decimal over here on five? Makes no difference uh, to Mr. Texas. That's the name of the calculator, by the way. Oh. You didn't know that. His last name is Mr. Instruments. Yeah. Texas yeah. His middle, his middle initials, T-I. I don't know if any of you knew that. Okay. Anyway, we get, he gets paid the big bucks, right, to do all this hard uh, multiplication and division for you. Okay. So once again, guys, four and five, right? I'm going to go ahead and give you the answers on these two. Uh, let's see. So number four, X is equal. Got to be a marker. X is equal 10 to 10. Okay. Number five, we should get a negative number on here. Yep. I believe it should be negative 29. 29. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Now, number six, we are going to write. Okay. Because, again, I believe you're getting better at solving these. What I want you to get better at is writing them. That's the harder part. So if we take a look here at A, um, it says write an equation that represents this situation. If you take negative 3 tenths of a number and add 1, okay, you get 10. Let x represent the original number. Okay, so think about what they're telling me to do. They're telling me, hey, if you take negative 3 tenths of a number and then you add 1, you get 10. So we're really doing two operations to this weird number. We're going to multiply it by negative 3 tenths. We get a number, then we're going to add 1 to it, and that should turn into the number 10. Okay, so here's what our equation looks like. So it's got to be negative 3 tenths. I'm going to use x for my number. Again, I don't know what it is. It's a letter that represents a number that I don't know what it is. I'm going to add 1, and that should equal 10. Okay? Um, we don't have the distributive property in this equation. Look, guys, this is super straightforward here. Right? This is, hey, we're going to move 1 over here. How we subtract it? What's 10 minus 1? 9. Then we will divide by our coefficient, negative 3 tenths. Yep, I think that should be negative 30. You guys with me? Did I get that right, Mr. Noel? Check my work on that. I did that all in my head really quickly. Right? So the original number was negative 30. All right, flip over. I think we should be on the back of this now. Maybe. Absolutely. Let's go to seven. Let's do some distributing. So again, guys, um, I don't know. Should we go through this one, Mr. Noel? Yeah. Okay. So let's do this one real quick. Um, step one, distribute the nine. So this is going to turn into negative nine times x is negative nine x. Negative nine times that six is going to be negative 54. And that equals my negative 207. From here, we have to add 54 to both sides. Here, sorry, there you go. Add 54. Add 54. Negative 9x equals negative 153. Yes. Is that right? Yes. If it's not, somebody's got to yell at me. All right, last step. Divide by your coefficient. All right? Uh, we should get... No, 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 don't tell me here. That should be a 1. Uh, we got 63. That's got to be 17. That is correct. Yes. 17, guys. Brain big. Okay. Uh, number 9, look, number 9 is about as tough as they can make it. Um, I don't even want to get into the postage stamp one. All right, but I would like to do a couple of these really fast. Okay. Okay. We are given this equation. Um, describe the first step that we need. So guys, what is the first step in order to solve this equation here? What is it? Distribute. Oh, distribute. Somebody said it. We are going to distribute 2 into that first, okay? Bam. Solve the equation for T. Show your work. Do I really have to, Mr. Noel? Yeah. That's what it says. Okay. All right, here we go. This so we're going to, yeah, this is. So we're going to take 2 times a half, guys. What's 2 times a half? Well, that's just 1t uh, plus 2 times 3 is 6, and that is equal to 1. 
I mean, this equation, this, this is nice. We love equations like this. Subtract 6 from both sides. 1t is equal to negative 5. Nice job. Okay. Uh, very last one, 11. Here we go. Nope. There we go. Now we can solve the last one. Yes, I like this one. This one looks good. Yeah, we sure can. You know, some would say distribute first. Some would say divide. But, you know, hey, we'll worry about that for a later day. We're going to distribute first, guys. When we correctly distribute the 2, it should turn into 12 uh, minus 2x equals 3. From here, we can go ahead, right? 12 needs to move to the other side. It's a positive 12 now. Do the opposite. That's negative 12 or subtracting 12. Uh, let's see, 3 minus 12, I believe that to be negative 9. You guys okay with this? Divide by your coefficient of negative 2. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I do something wrong, Mr. No? Well, no, you get on your paper. Oh, see, I'm fine then. Yeah. So x <laughs> equals... 4.5. Mr. Knowles over here trying to throw us off, guys. It ain't happening. It's all good. For the three of you that are watching this, we know we get four and a half here. Um, so anyway, so guys, you know, again, equations, multi-steppers, distribute first. Once you distribute, combine any like terms that you have. Okay, if you have two or more terms, you might be able to combine some on one side of your equation. After that, Isolate the variable, move your other constant terms away from it, right? Divide by that coefficient, okay? Uh, hopefully we're getting really good at solving multi-step equations. We should be ready now for our math Excel and probably our book work. So have a great day. See you soon.